Good morning, everyone. Virgo here. It is July 9th, 2019, and I hope everyone's having a great start to your week. We're going to be having a little discussion based upon a conversation in the comment section that I had at the end of last week with a more. This more came onto my channel and left some comments in the comments section with regards to a specific more that I had been doing some commentary on. They informed me that this more was a quote unquote dirty more and to please not look at that specific individual as someone who would be heading up the Moorish nationality uh, grouping. They informed me that generally 99.9% .9 of the individuals that are part of the Moorish national movement, whether they belong to a temple or not, basically use five specific principles in which I'm certain the majority of you have already heard them talk about. My five principles is love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. They told me that they believe that this specific quote-unquote dirty more is creating so many issues across social media because of all of the problems that they're having with people um, that they are actually making the rest of the Moors look bad. So I decided to go on a little search and take a look at a few other Moors to see whether or not I was seeing the five principles that this person spoke so highly of and claimed that the majority, 99.9% .9 of these individuals use. First, let me talk to you about a person of principle. So as we see here, there's a definition of principle and it says, a fundamental truth or proposition that serves as the foundation for a system of belief or behavior or for a chain of reasoning. Now, my definition of it is that a person of principle means someone who faithfully follows their principle or set of principles that they've set up for themselves, rather than abandoning them when it becomes convenient. If faced with a difficult decision in their life, that he or she will refer to their principles, which is a guiding set of specific things, and merely deduce the correct action from those principles. The title of this video, Love, Truth, Peace, Freedom, and Justice, is what you hear the Moorish talk about all the time. We're going to take a look at each one of the definitions of these five principles, and I'm going to show you what I located when I took a look at a few different people in the Moorish community to see whether those principles were being applied or not. Let's take a look at love. Love being an intense feeling or deep affection, a great interest and pleasure in something, and then they even give examples here. Babies fill parents with feelings of love. Synonyms of love are fondness, tenderness, warmth, infancy, attachment, endearment. Those are some good examples. I think we all understand what love is supposed to be. When I searched for love with regards to something that would be difficult, because remember, we're talking about principles here. We're not talking about a general sense of how we handle things when life is going smoothly. Principles come in when there's something that's difficult for you to deal with. And in order to deal with that thing, you have to rely on your principles. 
and not deviate from those principles in order to consider yourself a principled person. Because without using those principles as a baseline for how you react or respond to something that is negative or difficult, then there is only one answer, which is that you have no principles. In the event that you continue to detour from who, what you claim to be your actual principles, you're not principled. So therefore, you should probably stop saying that you are principled because it's not true. Which, by the way, is one of the five principles. When I looked for love during a difficult scenario in each one of these individuals, this is the sort of response that I found. But my brother said... It's time to go and get some bitches because guess what? I don't motherfucking play about my rights. Treason shall suffer death in the Americas. Play with it. The next principle that we have is truth. The quality or state of being true. Synonyms for truth are veracity, truthfulness, sincerity, candor, honesty, genuineness. Those are some good synonyms for truth, and I think we all can agree that that's accurate and factual. When I looked at several of the Moorish community's individuals for truth, this is what I located. How many of you recognize this as Form 5444? Actually, here is the real form 5444, and what this form is actually used for is for you to take to your bank so that when you purchase securities from Treasury Direct online, those securities can be transferred back and forth and monies can be paid out from those securities, or you are able to pull money from your account to purchase more securities in auctions off of treasurydirect.org. Many of you remember, I'm sure, in 2017, before Heather Ann Tucci and Randall Keith Bean were arrested for uh, trying to pull a bunch of fraud on, um, on uh, USAA Bank and ended up spending collectively between the two of them almost 20 years in prison because of attempting something that is considered very closely to bond fraud. What people were teaching other people to do back in 2017 was to pull bond numbers and try to turn them in using their birth certificate serial number as a bond number, which is considered bond fraud, trying to cash those in using Treasury Direct, uh, through the Treasury, using, using Treasury Direct's forms, and they were using 5444, this form right here, in order to try to get those bonds uh, directly deposited falsely, of course, into their bank accounts that they had opened. It appears that Noble L didn't get the memo that not only is this fraudulent and a federal crime, but it also doesn't work, and they're very well aware of the situation, because this morning I get a notification from one of my subscribers who has informed me that Noble L is indeed teaching her Moorish national friends and family to fill these out and forward them in to the IRS, otherwise known as a part of the Treasury. I mean, asking to get people into trouble. Truth, non-existent. Moorish principle number three, peace. It's a noun, freedom from disturbance or tranquility. 
a state or period in which there is no war or a war has ended. Synonyms for peace are tranquility, calm, calmness, quiet, quietness, silence, hush, stillness, still, non-aggression, harmony, non-violence, goodwill, and friendship. Those are all synonyms for peace, and I think we can all agree that that's how we understand and what we understand peace to mean. So I looked, and this is what I found in the Moorish community for peace. Peacefully removing you from specific areas by the sovereigns of the land, which are the Moorish American nationals, okay? We're not playing with any aliens or immigrants on our lands and have no jurisdiction when confronted or dealing with the Moorish American nationals who now know you've been playing them for about a hundred years. You've been playing them and now the game's on you. That's the funny part. Now it's on you because you have no claims and on 4th of July you're going to be sitting here trying to, that's going to be the celebration of the downfall of your nation. We're going to be having, we're going to have barbecues on the 4th of July, but it's going to not be, it's going to be with the Moroccan flags, not those banners of Admiralty, not the banners of Admiralty, because let me tell you, if I see, I ain't going to say, if I see any property with those on it, I'm confiscating y'all's first, because that automatically means you're warring with the peaceful Moorish American. The next principle we have is freedom. It's a noun. The power or right to act, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint. Synonyms for freedom, independence, self-government, self-determination, sovereignty, autonomy, democracy, liberty, liberation, emancipation, deliverance, discharge. I think we can all agree that that's what we understand freedom to be. But when I looked in the Moorish community online, this is what I found. Where my chattel property at? Get in here. Get in here. Y'all get in here. Hurry up. Y'all hear Massa talking. Y'all hurry up and get in here. Y'all hear Massa talking. Hurry up and get in here. Where my chattel property at? Get in here. Don't make me get my chain. Where y'all at? Y'all better be some good slaves. And finally, we have number five principle that is claimed by the Moorish community. Justice. Just behavior or treatment. Synonyms are fairness, fair play, equality, impartiality, objectivity. I think we can all agree that justice means these things. But when I looked in the Moorish community, there seemed to be an absolutely fundamental misunderstanding of what justice actually means. And this, or these rather, are what I found. You're getting requests from Moorish American nationals repossessing your property. It is in your best interest to start the move out process. Now I can control the narrative. Y'all don't control nothing over here. This is my channel, this is my platform. I control the narrative. All y'all gonna do is sit back and watch. And if you say something stupid, you're going to get blocked. That's all y'all could do. Y'all don't control anything. Y'all don't own anything over here. Y'all just speculators. Y'all spectators. So sit back and watch the show and enjoy the show. Get some popcorn, whatever you want to do. But none of y'all ain't going to debate me face-to-face -face live right now on Instagram. Put your Instagram in the comment section so I can hit you up and have a debate live. If you ain't going to put your Instagram in the comment section, you scared and you don't want to debate and you my slave. Let's talk about justice just real quickly for a moment here. Is it justice that because community standards that were believed to be broken on fair use really weren't broken, but there's a fundamental misunderstanding by this particular party 
that they believe fair use was broken, and as a result, they make a threat to the social media company such as this. Within this video, which I refuse to play because I'm not going to give it additional airtime, there's a statement that if they have to, they'll go back to their old ways because this is going to be dealt with. Is it justice that within this video there is an, not even a veiled threat, but a threat of violence and rape to Van Balen's daughter? Is that justice? To people who believe in the fundamental principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, as this person has stated from the Moorish community, make videos that are entitled, or that are titled rather, like this. There seems to be a big misunderstanding about all of those five principles. And if you look further, it continues. even against their own. See, when the narrative is not agreed to, the principles go right out the window. Therefore, there are no principles. I've been doing research on domestic terrorism, I've been doing research on fringe groups, I've been doing research on hate groups for almost three years at this point steadily online. And I can honestly say that I have absolutely no reason at this point to believe that the group of Moorish nationals that claim themselves to be of Moorish nationality and Moroccan descent, that they claim to be on Moroccan land, that they claim they have the right to place liens on people, to steal property from people, to evict people from their own property and land that they themselves worked hard to purchase. The claim to be able to evict citizens of the United States right off of the United States land because they claim that the land is actually Morocco. They call Native Americans, American Indians that are genuinely indigenous to this land, $5 Indians, and make the claim that none of the history is real with regard to the American Indians, nor is it real with regard to slavery. They put down their own their own heritage in addition to mine and many others. They claim there's no such thing as an American citizen. They claim to be peaceful and loving beings, but yet they're calling for war in every single avenue. And when things get tough, when people ask questions, when people get angry or make videos, because they're warning others of this group. These are the type of responses that you get. They claim, and it's a nice saying at the beginning of all of their videos, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. But what they really mean is love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice if you agree with us. See, that's not what principles are about, Moors, so-called Moors. What principles are about are when you have to reach deep down 
in order to figure out for yourself how you're going to deal with a negative or difficult situation. Principles are the reason why the majority of us don't go get a gun and blow everybody's heads off when we have to stand in line too long. Principles are the reason why the majority of us who have been hurt by family members don't throw them out of the house but give them another opportunity to do better. Principles are the reason why even though we may not have but $10 in our savings account, we will still give five of it to the animal shelter where there are starving cats and dogs. Those are the things that principles do. Principles are not principles. If the minute you're confronted or you don't like something that someone has to say, or you don't like a specific question, that you just forget all about those five principles. No, that actually means you have no principles. And with no principles, you can't be trusted. I hope this helped everybody to understand a little bit better about what this movement is doing and the kind of anger and upset that it's creating for people outside of the movement. It's something to watch, that's for sure. Everybody take care and have a good day.